At the dawning of the ages, the birds and the beasts banished us. We were forbidden from ever glimpsing the sun again. You can't be outside when the sun comes up. The owls will kill you. Do you have any idea what you've done? You broke the law, oh shade. Chinook? Who the bat? You the bat. Cool technique. <laughs> I know. That tiger moth never saw what hit him. <laughs> Neither did Shade. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had him. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Ooh, choice. Don't sweat it, runt. Only the best hunters can see through the moth's echo protection. Echo protection? The word is echo projection, and don't call me runt. Really? Now, where was I before I was forced to eat yet another tiger <sighs> moth? You were telling us about your dad? Oh, he's big. Big enough to kill an owl! Wow. That's even bigger than you said last time. Kill an owl? I don't think so. You call me a liar, runt? Not technically. My father's huge! Ugh. You'll see him when we get to hibernaculum. If your runty little wings can make the migration. Then again, why bother when you don't have a dad anyway? Don't talk about my dad like that! Your dad was bad news! He was a troublemaker and a coward! Oh, my dad was not a coward! You fruit bat! Sun's coming up. Gotta get back to Treehaven. Come on, Chinook. Let's go. You better watch your mouth. Let's fly! Come on, Shade! You guys go. I'm gonna hang around here and see the sun. <laughs> See the sun? You heard me. I heard you. I don't believe you. You can't be outside when the sun comes up. The owls will kill you. Don't believe me, Chinook? Then join me. Aren't you curious? Maybe I am, runt. Are you out of your mind? It's against the law. It's a stupid law. Right, Chinook? Guys, it's morning and we should really be inside. I'm with you, Todd. <laughs> so? What are we gonna do? Just hang out? I thought maybe we could fly up top. Get a better view. Really? Well, I guess that's the sun. Uh, let's head back. Uh, that's just the pre-glow. Oh. Well. Sure hope there's no owls around, right? <laughs> what do you care? According to you, bats can kill owls. Hey, you know what I was just thinking? We could not see the sun and uh, say we saw it. How about that? Oh, really?
so beautiful. And warm. Silverwing! Thank Nocturna, you're safe. What were you doing out there? Nothing. Nothing? That owl nearly killed you! I got away. Do you have any idea what you've done? Oh, Shade. You broke the law. You are in so much guano. Chinook's gonna be grounded for a week. Why? He didn't do anything, the big mouse. So, Shade, did you see it? You know. Todd? Roost! Ariel, this has gone too far. Far too far. Keep that lawbreaker away from my baby. <laughs> That's a laugh. Shade! Roost! Now! Mom? 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 Hey, are you awake? Mm-hmm. Uh, was Dad a troublemaker? Go to sleep. Was he a coward? He was brave and impulsive and defiant. Sometimes a little foolish, like you. But he was no coward. Did the owls get him? No one knows for sure. Now try to sleep. You two. What is it? The Council of Elders have met. They want to see both of you now. Oh, but only adults go up there. Shh, yes. And anyone who looks at the sun. So spit wash your face and follow me. Silverwing, step forward. You have broken the most ancient law of our colony. 
Do you have an explanation? Just youthful exuberance and curiosity. The only- Curiosity that will be the ruin of this colony. The owls will want retribution. And quite frankly, who can blame them? Silence! Do you have anything to say for yourself? No, no, he doesn't. He's just a boy. Yes, I do. The law is wrong. What? Shade? Let the boy speak. Listen, you insolent upstart. That law guarantees our very existence. Bathsheba, go on. Well, what's wrong with bats seeing the sun? I didn't turn into stone. The only reason we can't be out in daylight is because of the owls. It's unfair. I've heard enough. Indeed. We have no choice but to hand the lawbreaker over to the owls. What? No, please, Frida. And we should do it now before the owls come for him. I will take appropriate action at the appropriate time. Come with me. Ariel, it's for the good of the colony. Shade, go with Frida. It's not like the boy is strong enough to make the migration anyway. Roost there. I don't understand. Where are we? This room is called the Echo Chamber. It holds all of our colony's history, sung by Silverwings long dead. The walls of the chamber are polished so smoothly, they will echo here forever. What's that sound? You can hear it? Well, kind of. It's like... like someone's whispering. Someone from hundreds, even thousands of migrations ago. What are they saying? You tell me. Simply concentrate and listen. Not everyone has the gift. I hear so many voices. They're all speaking at once. Pick one. Many seasons passed at the dawning of the ages. The birds and the beasts existed without order. No one knew the hunters from the hunted. All creatures struggled for their place in a world without boundaries or laws. Alliances were formed, and war was waged between the two great kingdoms. The birds and the beasts. Being both, but neither, refused to join the battle. When war finally ended, the, the great, great treaty was forged. Because we refused to take sides, the birds and the beasts banished us for all eternity to the darkness of the night.
We were forbidden from ever glimpsing the sun again. Is that how we got stuck with the law? Oh, that is so unfair. I hate the owls. You must learn to rule your anger and not let your anger rule you. Only foolish deeds will come of that. Pardon me, Frida. Brutus, Supreme Commander of the Owls, has arrived. Bathsheba, I'm here now. Frida, I would... Please. General Brutus, please accept my deepest apologies for keeping you waiting. Where's the boy? He's over there. Bring the boy to me, so we can settle this. No. Do as I say. I will not. Frida, such a decision jeopardizes the balance of nature. Brutus, you and I have flown in this forest for far too long. You don't really believe that one young bat glimpsing the sun will upset the balance of nature, do you? Look into your heart. I will not be manipulated. Emotions have no place in the execution of the law. My point exactly. The owls were well within their... General Brutus, with all due respect, as head of this colony, I stand firm on this. No silver wings will be sacrificed for the sake of your unjust law. Unjust law? Give us the boy. No. I have spoken. Very well. Prepare to suffer the consequences! It's not just me, you owe. Silver Wings, retreat! We must all retreat now! Why? Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Save Tree Haven. It's too late. <laughs> Justice has been served! 